Good evening, everybody. Good evening. Hello, hello, hello. Good evening, good evening. Can you hear me? Good evening, teacher. Yes, teacher. Hello, good evening. Good evening. Nice. Uh, welcome. Nice to good see evening. you one more time. <clears throat> good evening, good evening. Welcome. Okay, so let's start. Let's see. We are... 21 participants appreciate it that you are on time and also your cameras uh, don't forget full name in the zoom up 
Okay, so let's see. Let's start. Uh, Berosley, how are you, Berosley? Hello, good evening. Mm, very, very good, Miss. Good evening, ready for the class, right? Nice. Uh, what about you, uh, Jenny Marisol? How are you, Marisol? Good evening, teacher. Uh, I'm good. Okay, very nice. Marcos Alberto, tell us how you feel today, Marcos. Hello, good evening, Miss. Hey, everyone. I'm fine. Uh, list and list, list, list. And ready for the class. Okay, nice. Marcos, ready for the class. Okay, so we are almost over, right? So I feel exciting because of you, right? I feel exciting because um, you are about to finish, right? So you will be in the next level, okay? That's the idea. So uh, that is good for you, okay? Because you are getting improved, right? Improve your uh, your English. That is the, the goal, right? That's the idea that you are doing better, okay? So we are going to try to cover today the last grammar topic that we have in the book because tomorrow is the last day, right? So tomorrow is the last day and um, it is good for you to, you know, practice, practice and practice a little bit more because sometimes we are learning like grammar details or important uh, information, right? But we need to say, it. we need to practice, we need to talk, we need to use the language, okay? So that's the, that's the idea, okay? So we are going to try to cover as much as we can today and the way tomorrow we can have, you know, time to talk, time to speak and you can practice, okay? What we have covered during these four weeks, right? So uh, let's start. Um, well, I'm going to start with the attendance, even though we have missing people still, but we need to take advantage of the time. So like always, just let me validate the file right here because this is the one from my, so just give me one moment right here. Okay, it is the, the list. So most of you, I guess, already finished the platform, right? So, no sé cómo están con la plataforma. I'm finished, Miss. You are done? Finished, me. Nice. Uh, now, let me ask you, if you haven't, okay, si alguien no ha terminado, eh, ¿cómo va? O sea, ¿cómo, ¿cómo considera que va en la plataforma? Estamos ya por terminar, mañana, ahora. So, la idea es que ahora quede set, right, la, la plataforma, pero no sé si alguien ha tenido algún inconveniente y se ha atrasado y, y podamos ver si le ayudamos. Alguien? No. Finish me. Okay. Bien. Este. Yo quiero ver acá el, el porcentaje. But I'm going to pass the attendance first. Okay. So se supone que. Debería de poder ver acá, pero es que no entiendo por qué me aparece un solo grupo con el otro grupo de más tarde. No sé, cómo que se lo, lo han unido, no sé, para estar como viendo quién es de por aquí, quién es de por allá. Está un poco difícil, pero bien, 
mañana. Es un hecho que nos van a preguntar, right, de parte de staff, eh, ¿cómo, cómo vamos en la plataforma. Pues yo esperaría que, que, que todos salgan bien, que no vaya a resultar alguien ahí, pues, que no ha, que no ha completado la, la plataforma. Bien, so déjeme acá cargo la... The assistance is up today is a Wednesday, right? So let's see, Berosley. Um, let's see, Where Brenda. Nice, Brenda Lisette. Lisbeth, I'm sorry, Lisbeth. Brenda Lisbeth, no. E Damaris Lisette. Damaris. Okay, nice. Elisa Maria. Present. Nice, Elisa. Eh, Javier Enrique. No está. José Rodrigo. Present. Nice, Rodrigo. Eh, Juan, Josué, I'm sorry, Josué Rubén. Present, Miss. Nice. Let's see, Juan de Jesús. Present, teacher. Nice. Y Karen Elizabeth. Present. Nice, Present. Karen. Y Catherine Griselda. Present. Nice. Leticia Margarita. Present. Nice. Eh, Liliana Abigail Liliana Abigail Cedillo no. eh, Liliana Yamilet Hernández Thank you, sir. Thank you Miss eh, Marcos Alberto Good evening, present Good evening, thank you Mario Alfonso Mario, no. Eh, Marlon, Alexander. Ahí está Marlon, creo que tiene problemas. Good evening, evening, teacher, present. Ok, good evening, nice. Eh, Milena de Los Ángeles. Present, teacher. Nice, Milena. Eh, Miriam Darlene. Present. Ok, Miriam. Eh, Mirna Griselda. Present. Nice, Griselda. Eh, Mónica Elizabeth. Present. Nice. Nelson Vladimir. Good evening, present, nice. Miss. Good evening, uh, Reina Margarita. Reina Margarita. Eh, Ronald Rafael. Good evening, teacher. I am here. Nice, Ronald. Sandra Elizabeth. Sandra Elizabeth, no. Sonia Beatriz. Present. Nice, Sonia. Eh, Tiffany Guadalupe. Present. Nice, Tiffany. Eh, Jenny Giselle Jenny Giselle eh, Jenny Marisol Present Miss Nice Marisol eh, Yesenia Guadalupe Present teacher Ok, nice So we have a few absence right here Just let me double check. Yeah. Remember that we are going to uh, validate the attendance uh, one more time at the end, right? So let me share the screen really quick and let's start. Okay. So let's see. This is the other one. Okay. So let's see if we complete this part. Some and any, right? So that is the part that we have. Okay. From yesterday. Remember, we mentioned that um, some and any are like 
kind of similar meanings in, in Spanish, right? But one, it's more for countable nouns and the other one that will be for uncountable. So remember the countables, we mentioned that they are the objects, food, themes that we can count, right? So we say one student, two students, three apples, right? So, and the uncountables are the ones that we are not allowed, we are not able, that it's kind of impossible to count. Like, for example, the starts, you are not able to be like counting one, two, three, four stars, no, right? So they are uncountable, like liquids, right? That's what we mentioned, okay? So we mentioned that we are going to use uh, some most likely for positive, um, sentences as well right any it's like negatives right negative questions or negative sentences right so let's see if we can complete this okay let's see number um it, this is amanda and adam right so the first one is the example the store doesn't have any potato salad right this is any we have uh, salad uncountable, and we have a negative statement, right? The store doesn't have any potato salad. So Darlene, the next one, Adam, so how you did you answer this one? Adam, well, we have lots of potatoes. Let's make some. Perfect. We have a lot of potatoes. Let's make some, right? So they are talking about the potato salad, right? But since they are counting that they have many uh, potatoes, right? So let's make uh, some. Nice. Uh, let's see, Rodrigo, Jose Rodrigo, continue with the next one, Amanda. Um, okay. Uh -huh. Okay, Rodrigo, probably you have um, problems uh, right there with your internet because I couldn't listen, understand what you say, okay? But let's continue, okay? Do we have any mayonnaise? Okay, that will be uncountable, right? Do we have any managing mayonnaise? Okay, nice. Marcos, continue with the next one. Marcos Alberto. Marcos, Marcos, Alberto. Excuse me, Miss. Go ahead. Eh, eh, sería de Amanda, we need? Mm, Adam, oh. right here. Um, is no, we need to buy any. Sí. Mm. Mm. No, we need. No, we need to buy some, okay? We need to buy some, that would be, okay? So, nice, Marcos, thank you. Verosley, continue with the next one, please. Uh, that would okay. be Amanda. Uh, we need any onions too? Mm -hmm. Onions, they are countable, right? Se puede contar. So, we need some, okay? We need some no. onions to necesitamos algunas cebollas también, right? So we need some. Nice. Uh, continue, Nelson, Vladimir. Okay. Oh, I don't want any onions. I have onions. Perfect. I don't want any onions, right? I hate it, or I hate onions. Nice. Sandra Elizabeth, continue. Amanda. Then let's get some celery. Mm -hmm. Let's get 
um, some salary, right? Any. Nice. Uh, Tiffany, continue with the next one. No, I don't want some salary in my potato salad. But let's put any apples in it. Mm -hmm. Let's see. I don't want any celery in my potato salad, but let's put some apples. Some, that will be apples countable, right? Let's put some apples on it. Yesenia Guadalupe, um, that, that would be the example. Yesenia, continue. Apple in potato salad, that sound awful. Okay, uh, apples, apples, I'm sorry, apples in potato salad, that sounds awful. So, ¿qué dijimos que era awful? Feo. Mm, horrible, right? So, una comida así, well, que uno dice, eso está horrible, right? So, awful, that means más que feo, right? Más que feo. Nice. So, let's see. We are going to continue, okay? Um, we are going to skip this part. And we are going to have this conversation, right? If you see, we have right here the adverse of frequency. So, we are going to try to see the adverse today. And um, we have the reading, so we can read uh, tomorrow and we have the last part, okay? So let's see the, the conversation that we have. Fish for breakfast. So this is like a question, right? Fish for breakfast. Uh, the conversation between Sarah and Kumiko. So let's have breakfast together on Sunday. Uh, okay, uh, come to my house. My family always has a Japanese style breakfast on Sundays, really. What do you have? We usually have fish, rice and soup. Fish for breakfast? That's interesting. Uh, sometimes we have a salad too, and we always have green tea. Well, I never eat fish for breakfast, but I like to try new themes, okay? Imagine fish for breakfast. My goodness, that will be kind of weird, right? Weird because we don't really have like fish or soup for breakfast. But remember that this is, uh, uh, as in the conversation says, this is like the Japanese style, right? So that is like a typical food for breakfast in Japan, okay? So do we have new words right here? Habrá alguna palabra? No? Okay, so let's move on, okay? Let's move on because of the time. So we have the adverse of frequency, okay? In Spanish, we say adverbios de frecuencia, okay? We do have these adverbs of frequency in Spanish, right? So, tenemos eh, adverbios de frecuencia, de modo, de tiempo, de lugar. Todos esos nosotros los conocemos en español. So, the same story in English, okay? We have the adverbs of frequency, los adverbios de frecuencia, estos nos van a delimitar o nos van a notar, hacer notar eh, la cantidad de veces que uno realiza algo, ok? So in the book we have these ones, ok? Always, usually, often, sometimes, hardly, ever, and never, ok? But there are more, ok? Están otros que no están acá en la lista, pero they are also adverse of frequency, okay? So uh, let's see. Uh, we have right here. Um, okay, so we have these ones that are like um, the famous ones, right? So no es que sean los únicos, pero son los más comunes, right? The ones that are in the book. I already shared with you uh, pictures about the adverse of frequency. And if you see, we have like the like the percentage, right? 
So from 0% to 100%, just for you to calculate the, the percentage, right, that we have for all of them. So for example, we can say, I always eat breakfast at seven o'clock. So always eats 100%. When we say I usually eat breakfast, so uh, usually it's like 90%. It's not always, but it's uh, a lot of uh, time, right? Or an, a lot of uh, quantity. Then we have uh, often. With this one, you can say often, or you can say often. Both are correct. Often, that would be American. Often, that will be British. Uh, sometimes, okay, be careful. No me vaya a salir con sometimes, right? So sometimes, that will be the pronunciation. I sometimes eat breakfast, okay? Sometimes it's like 50%, okay? Alguna veces, no, see, si, no, no, okay? So este del sometimes es el 50%, es un 50%, okay? So then we have hardly ever. Hardly ever, it's also rarely, okay? Hardly ever, rarely, they are friends. They are like family. They are kind of the same, right? So let's see. Um, hardly ever, right? So like 5%, right? Casi nunca, hardly ever. Casi nunca, rarely, raramente, or raras veces. Uh, and the last one, it's never. That will be a zero percent. Okay, you say I never travel to Spain. So never means nunca, right? Never and never and never. Okay, so we can create questions using the adverbs of frequency. Okay, look at this one. Uh, do you ever have fish for breakfast? Yes, I always do, or sometimes I do. No, I never do. So you see how we uh, use the adverbs of frequency in English, right? In the questions and also for the answers, okay? So what else we have? In the pictures, you have normally or generally, uh, frequently, occasionally, seldom, okay? Seldom. So... Um, how do you understand or how do you get the meaning of seldom? It's just like 10%, my goodness, a few. But what is seldom? I think is rara vez. Mm -hmm. Can be rara vez, right? Pero bien raro, porque it says right here that seldom it's like 10%. Um, seldom, un, di, un 10%, ok, viene siendo, o sea, bien poco, pero existe, right, un porcentaje de un 10. Uh, there are more, as I told you, there are more, um, there are more like uh, adverse of frequency. For example, we have one that it's like very, um, like, it's like a adverb for then, okay? Es como así bien de ellos, okay? For example, if I say, uh, you know what? I'm learning French uh, once in a blue moon. Did you get the idea if I say, hey, you know, I'm learning French once in a blue moon? ¿Qué le estamos diciendo? ¿Qué, ¿Cuál sería ahí la mejor interpretación? Repeat, please. I'm learning or I learned uh, French or Chinese, cualquier idioma, el lenguaje puede ser, but once in a blue moon. Una luna azul. Ok, once in a blue moon. Ajá, si usted lo traduce eh, textual, right? So, sí, luna azul, pero ¿será que yo le estoy diciendo luna azul? Yo tengo clases en la luna azul. Mm, 
¿Tendrá sentido? No. Uh -huh. Y entonces, no existe la expresión once in a blue moon. Oh my goodness, it's really hot, right? Ajá. Le va a quedar de tarea. Nadie. Once in a blue moon. Muy raramente. Ok, ok. Por ahí vamos, vamos llegando. Ok, once in a blue, um, once in a blue moon. Imagínese que usted está hablando con un americano, alguien nativo del idioma y le dice cualquier cosa, once in a blue moon. Please, no, se vaya usted a poner a imaginarse una luna azul, ¿verdad? O sea, no, no es el sentido. O digámoslo cuando la luna esté azul. Por Ajá, usted va a decir, o sea, que va a venir cuando la luna esté azul, o sea, raro. Ok, so, no, ok, muy raramente, o sea, en palabras así como que bien... Um, nuestras bien salvadoreñas, o sea, tenemos unas Se expresiones aquí, bien, bien nuestras, ok, como cuando usted le dice, usted le dice a alguien, hey, mira, anda a ver si ya puso la marrana, un ejemplo, verdad, de una expresión así, o sea, si yo le digo a alguien, mira, anda a ver si ya puso la marrana, le estoy diciendo a la persona, vaya a revisar un cerdo y vea si ya tiene cría, no. no, ¿verdad? ¿Qué le estoy diciendo? Que se vaya. Que se vaya a otro lugar. Que se vaya, que deje de, de hacer lo que está haciendo. Una expresión, ¿verdad? Eh, eh, por, es como los idioms. ¿Se acuerdan que mencionamos algo de idioms? Yes. Okay. So, ajá, uh -huh. this is once in a blue moon podría entrar entre la categoría de un idiom, pero también en los adverbs of frequency, porque denota frecuencia o repetición de veces que yo hago alguna cosa, right? So, I study French once in a blue moon, okay? Yo estudio italiano, francés, lo que sea raramente, o sea, ya bien pocas veces, bien escasamente, ok, so once in a blue moon es como eh, bien raro pues que pase, pero pueda que pasar, porque hay un porcentaje ahí de un 15-20% que pueda que pase, ok, so um, the, the examples right here, we have, uh, sometimes I eat a breakfast, so we can use The adverse of frequency at the beginning, okay? Or if it is a question, so we are going to add the adverb of, the adverb of frequency before the verb, antes del verbo, okay? Y en la respuesta iría antes o después de el sujeto, okay? So con esto de los adverse of frequency, the same story, usted tiene que ver a dónde va a ubicar. Ok, put the adverbs in the correct places and practice with a partner. Se so lo vamos a hacer de uno. No es que yo voy a venir a lo loco a poner el adverbio al inicio, en medio, al final, donde me acuerde, donde caiga. No, right? So there is an order. There is an order. Normally it will be before the break. Ok, look at the example. What do you usually have for breakfast? Ok, va ahí, mire, entre medio del sujeto y en ver, eh, antes del verbo. Ok, so what do you usually have for breakfast? Let's see the next letter B, uh, Liliana Jamilet. Well, I often have coffee, cereal and juice. Perfect, I often, right, or often uh, have coffee. Nice. Let's see the next one. Um, ya no hay o quién. Liliana, Jamilet, continue. This is a question. 
do you ever do you ever eat breakfast at work i sometimes have breakfast at my desk okay you sometimes have breakfast at my desk okay so nice do you ever right do you ever eat breakfast at work i sometimes have breakfast at my desk okay so remember subject adverb of frequency and then the verb the last one um nelson oh, no it's not the last one it's letter a right here letter a okay. usually do you do you usually eat rice for breakfast perfect do you usually eat rice for breakfast and the last one no no i hardly ever had rice perfect no i hardly ever have uh rice okay so remember the position right lo importante que usted sepa de los adverbs of frequency que denotan la frecuencia como ellos se llaman right la cantidad de veces que usted hace algo o el porcentaje de, de tiempo que usted invierte right por ejemplo alguien me puede decir i sometimes drink coca-cola during lunch time okay o sea un 50 50 como que sí como que no pero si yo le digo i always I always la la la, so siempre, I never, zero, right? Never, never, and never. So let's see. Uh, we are going to continue, okay? So we are going to continue with the next section, okay? Because of the time, okay? Let's see, we have 20, 35. So we have the eating right here, eating for good uh, look, okay? But we are going to skip this part okay so let's see i can i can i skate very well so this is the last section right i can i skate very well so we are going to start with the seasons do you know what are the seasons and which ones do we have Ajá, ¿qué son las seasons? Cortes por estaciones en, en Estados Unidos y Canadá. Perfect. So this is based in uh, Canada and US, right? Sports seasons, ok? Los, los deportes de cada estación. O sea, aquí nosotros no pasamos del mismo deporte, right? So that's what we have. But in other countries, so like US, they they have different type of sports depending on the weather right depending on the season that we have uh let's see the first one it says in a spring uh people play golf and, play, and people play soccer right so that's what the people do normally in spring fall so they play football they go bike riding they go hiking okay so that is something that they can do during fall and then we have right here during summer play uh baseball play tennis play volleyball go swimming and the winter okay the 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 time that we don't really have in in el salvador right in winter people play hockey play basketball go ice skating or they can go hiking okay so remember that this is uh, something related on the american culture right so cultura norteamericana 100% let's see i love sports uh lauren and justin so justin what do you do in your free time well i love sports really what sports do you like mm, hockey baseball and soccer are my favorites 
Wow, you are really good at tea. At tea. Um, when do you play all these sports? Oh, I don't play these sports. I just watch them on television. Así. Soy este deportista yo solo viendo, right? So it's just by watching on TV. So um, let's see, we are going to practice, okay? Let's see volunteers to read the conversation, please. Uh, Liliana and Tiffany, okay? So Liliana, you are Lauren and Tiffany, please be Justin. Okay, so Justin, what do you do in your free time? Well, I love sports. Really? What sport do you like? Mm, hockey, baseball, and soccer are my favorites. Wow, you are really good athlete. Oh, I don't play these sports. I just watch them on television. Okay, so nice. So athlete. At you are a really good at atleta, right? A good at uh -huh. Nice. So let's move on, okay? We have the simple present WH question. Esto ya lo vimos, okay? So esto ya lo vimos, el presente simple, las WH questions. Esto es prácticamente un repaso, right? De lo que ya hemos estado Eh, viendo desde el módulo anterior viene viendo usted simple present so wh question what who where how often when what time so those are the wh okay and this is a simple present okay so nelson help us with the first two questions and answers please what sport do you play i play hockey and baseball Continue. Would you play baseball with? I play with some friends from work. We have okay. a team. Okay, perfect. So what sports do you play? Oh, I play hockey and blah, 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 right? So the question is what sports in plural, right? Then who do you play baseball with? Okay, who, who do you play baseball with? Oh, I play with my friends, I play with my brother, la, 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 la. Continue, um, Marisol, read the next uh, two questions and the answer. Um, where do you play? We play at Hunter Park. How often do you practice? We practice arms of try a week. Okay, so it says where, donde, right? Where do you play? Oh, we play at Hunter Park. How often do you practice? We practice once or twice a week. And the next two it says, when do you practice? Oh, we practice on Sundays. What time do you start? Oh, we start at 10 o'clock in the morning. So let's complete the, the part right here, okay? So let me take an, a screenshot right here and we are going to try to complete it, okay? So we have a few minutes, but let's do it, right? So it says complete the conversations with the correct WH questions then practice with a partner right so the idea is um complete the questions okay ahí usted va a tener que verificar eh, cuál es el wh question que más le le agrada okay so it will be just four groups okay lo voy a enviar acá al, al grupo de whatsapp so we are going to create just um teacher Yep. Ah, tenía como una sugerencia. Eh, como veo que falta bastante de, para terminar de, de todo lo que estamos viendo, 
Y solo tenemos ya mañana. Entonces, Actually, we are done. O sea, si se fijan, aquí ya solo el último tema es este. Ya prácticamente está nada más el can't, que es habilidad. And that's it. Ya no hay más. Solo la lectura. Gramáticamente, ya no hay más. Solo el can't. Ah, ok. Porque en ese caso, uh -huh. si no terminábamos, que lo enviara como tarea y que cada uno lo hiciera para allá. mañana. Sí, la sí, la verdad que ya en esa parte ya, ya había revisado, solo tenemos el uso del Kent, que prácticamente el Kent es para todos, ¿ok? Eso es como un auxiliar. Ese ya lo hemos estado, ya lo hemos estado practicando también. Y exactamente, igual que este que estamos por hacer ahorita de los WH Questions, uh -huh. o sea, eso lo vimos de una vez, ¿se acuerdan? Cuando mencionamos el, el, el tiempo, ahí al, se vio a principio de, al de... inicio. Sí. Exacto. Entonces eso lo cubrimos allá sí. todo. Este es como un, un repaso. Ajá. De Rosley. Sí. Sí, fíjese que la plataforma me sacó como por 10 minutos. Sí, ahorita estoy viendo ahí que había colocado mensajes usted en el. Sí. Hey, eso quería no, mencionarles sí. el porcentaje. No me acordaron. Quería mencionar el, el porcentaje que tienen de de tiempo conectado porque eso sí es importante o sea la plataforma por algún motivo no me deja mirar acá pero eh, el porcentaje de asistencia sí Marisol teacher no solo preguntar o sea que solo, mañana es el último día o sea no tenemos la otra semana no no next no, week it no. will be in the next level no. <risa> Marisol ya 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 time is over acá. gracias ok So, me acuerdan, pero bueno, tenemos que terminar este ejercicio. Ya lo envié. Eh, hagamos este WH question. O sea, todo lo que, lo que falta prácticamente solo es el can, que son un dos minutos. Se, se ve, right? Can, solamente usted tiene que saber que es para una habilidad. De ahí, o sea, un él, un ella, he, she, it, we, can, es para todos. Ok. So positive it's can and can't, that would be negative or cannot, ok? Usted puede tocar algo, usted le quiere preguntar a alguien, ¿puede bailar? Ah, es una habilidad, no todos pueden bailar. Can you dance? Ok, viene otro, le quiere preguntar, ¿puedes tocar una guitarra? No todos podemos tocar una guitarra. Ah, can you play the guitar? Siempre que usted vaya a hacer una pregunta, y usted sepa que eso es de una habilidad, algo que una habilidad es un don, right? es un, algo que lo hace diferente a los demás. Por ejemplo, dibujar. Yo pregunto, ¿quién puede dibujar? Ah, yo va a decir uno, dos, pero no todos van a decir yo. Otro es bueno para cantar, otro es bueno para saltar, otro es bueno para correr, otro, bueno, o sea, siempre que estemos hablando abilities, habilidoso de algo para hacer algo, siempre usted tenga en mente el can't. Can you play the guitar? Can you play the piano? Can you dance? Can you sing? Can you draw? Can you swim? Can you uh, repair something? Can you speak Chinese? Can you speak Spanish? Can you speak English? So, y la respuesta igual, ya sabe usted con el auxiliar que le están preguntando, con ese auxiliar usted va a contestar. No es posible que yo le diga, hey, um, can you play the piano? Y me vaya a decir, yes, I do. No, all right. So, usted ya sabe que yo escucho el auxiliar con el que me preguntan y yo, si yo quiero decir que sí, ok, yes, I can. Pero no, yo no puedo tocar el piano, no I can't, ok, son las respuestas básicas cortas, ahora usted me quiere ampliar y dar una respuesta completa, oh, yes I can, I can play the piano very well because I took classes when I was a child, ok, ahí me da una respuesta, híjole, completísima, oh, no I can't, um, I can't play the piano because it's very difficult, 
Ok. So, ahí está el can. Lo que teníamos para mañana, ya está. Ok. <laughs> so, that's it. So, as I told you, so, about topics, temas, temas, temas en sí de la plataforma, ahí está. Si mañana tal vez vamos a leer parrafitos que ustedes ya los leyeron ahí en la plataforma. En la plataforma. Uh -huh. O sea, prácticamente we are done. Ahora, los, los learning progress, eso sí, mire, alguien ahí dijo que quede de tarea. Usted tarea siempre tiene. O sea, aunque yo no le diga, mire, haga esto, lo otro, porque su trabajo es específico de la plataforma. Ya si yo vengo y le pongo un montón de cosas, usted va a decir, no hice la plataforma porque estaba haciendo la otra tarea. Entonces, por esa razón se evita dejar así como que tareas adicionales en cantidad grande para que usted se dedique únicamente y exclusivamente a la plataforma y no haya excusa. Ahora, por ejemplo, hay dos partes de, de progreso personal que yo le dije, mire, por cuestión de tiempo, no lo podemos resolver aquí. O sea, yo no puedo ponerme a ver las respuestas de todos y cada uno de los ejercicios porque no terminamos, right? Pero ahí dice Sales Assessment, o sea, usted eh, mañana, yo no sé si mañana terminamos, yo no sé si usted el lunes está iniciando, yo creería que no, ¿verdad? Porque le tiene que llegar a, a su email el correo notificando que, que, que ya está el, ¿qué? El activo ya Son para como, el siguiente. Como una semana creo que queda. Prácticamente como es como una semana y a veces pueden ser dos semanas, no de vacación. O sea, no hay clase, pero usted, híjole, tiene un montón que repasar, un montón que practicar, un montón que eh, reestudiar, revisar y medirse. Ok, yo lo que recomiendo, igual eso se lo voy a decir mañana, es hacer como un self-test, right? Usted autoevalúese, un self-evaluation, uh, right? And, and see the topics, ok? Usted aquí tiene que tener el pasado, ok? Clarísimo, ok? Lo que, lo que se ha estado viendo en este módulo. Usted puede, tiene ahí la plataforma. O sea, usted puede ver en la plataforma cuáles son los temas, ¿verdad? Y a, a evaluarse las WH questions, o sea, todo eso usted lo tiene que tener, pero clarísimo, ¿verdad? Las, uh, bueno, hemos mencionado adverse of frequency. Eh, yo tengo un montón de ejercicios que les puedo compartir si ustedes gustan, pero eso ya sería algo... Adicional. Adicional, o sea, algo aparte, algo extra que, mire, me va a calificar, o sea, no es tanto de que si le vamos a calificar, la práctica es lo que usted necesita. Más que una nota, necesita una práctica, una evaluación personal, la conciencia, ¿verdad? Para que usted vea el, el progreso. So, uh, let's see, let me open the rooms, ok, vamos a tratar de terminar este último eh, ejercicio, son cuatro grupitos nada más, so, four minutes, ok, cuatro minutos regresamos.
Okay, so welcome back. Let me, let me share the screen and we will see, okay? So we have less time to complete this part. Okay, so let's see right here. Okay, let's see. Uh, number one, so Berosley B letter A and Tiffany letter B. Go ahead, please. Uh, I watch sport on television every weekend. Really, what sport do you like to watch? Soccer is my favorite. When do you usually watch soccer? Yeah, on Sunday afternoon. And how do you usually watch it and at home? No, at my friend's house. He has a really big television. Okay. When do you go? That would be number two, okay, number one, nice. So nice, it says I, I watch uh, sports and television every weekend, really. What sports do you like to watch? Soccer, it's my favorite, okay? Um, let's see, look at the answers right here. On Saturday afternoons, okay? On Saturday as afternoon, so that will be when, aquí. When do you usually watch a soccer? Ah, on Saturday afternoons. And, aquí sí, where do you usually watch it? At home or sale donde, right? No, at my friend's house. Uh, he has a really big television, okay? So we are going to stop, okay? Because we have two more minutes and I need to validate the attendance. Habían varios que no. Contestaron asistencia. Please let me know if you are here, Brenda Lisbeth. Javier Enrique. Present, Miss. Ok, Javier Enrique. Nice. Uh, Liliana Abigail. Present. Nice. Mario Alfonso. Mario Alfonso. No. Ok, so let's see. Reina Margarita, me pareció ver que estaba conectada. Present teacher. Ok, nice. Y I'm Sandra Elizabeth. Sí, aquí estoy. Ok, Sandra Elizabeth, ok. So at the end we have two absence. Uh, that would be Mario and Damaris, no están. So time is over. Uh, we do have class uh, tomorrow. Uh, let's see. Thank you. Ahí Marisol nos mandó la de la siguiente. Ok, la vamos a revisar bien mañana. So, do not miss classes tomorrow. Mañana vamos a ver el porcentaje de asistencia ya arriba del 80 para que ya usted sepa que pasó al siguiente módulo. Mañana lo vamos a mirar. Mañana vamos a tomar ahí una foto de recuerdo. Así que ahí se peina mañana. ¿Verdad? Se hacen los colochos para que salga en la foto. Todos alistan en la cámara. El que no lo vamos a hacer dibujado ahí como un sticker. El que no ponga cámara, right? So time is over. Bye bye. Good night. I have to move on to the next Good group. Night. Okay. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night.